this side of the map. I'm just about ready to take on the Institute to finish uh, the main quest, essentially. I've completed most of the main story missions. I'm still getting radial missions, you know, just those little, hey, look, go and fetch this, go and do that. Um, but that's not, it's not as fulfilling as either doing what we're doing now, which is adventuring and exploring new places, or actually completing fulfilling story-based missions. Before we take on the Commonwealth, what I wanted to do was just have another look around the, the Commonwealth. This this part of the map I haven't really explored. It doesn't seem like there's many missions that take you this way. The police station, now that would be one of them. If you want to get full uh, um, relationship with Nick Valentine, you've got to go to all of the police stations and that would include this one. So I must have been here. I don't, I don't remember it though. But it's very exciting just going to a new place seeing who's there and killing them. Um, something that I have done, you may remember from the last session, is that the intention was for this to be a lucky idiot. We maxed out our luck. Uh, I wanted to increase my charisma just because I hadn't done it before. We are now at 10 intelligence. Our guy is a bona fide genius. I've been boosting up his science skill so that we can improve power, armor, and laser weapons. And, and I just got to the realization I've pretty much done all of that stuff that I want to do. I was just thinking, am I ready to take on the Institute? Yeah. But I haven't, haven't yet stamped around yes. all of the Commonwealth dispensing our special brand of justice. Can't let that be undone. So here we are now. 38 ammo, I mean, I don't use it on, on survival mode. 38 ammo, sure, it's it's perhaps the most abundant type of ammo. But it, it just does not pack any kind of a punch. Early, early game. Pipe weapons, yes. 38s, yes, sure, you can use them. Uh, it, it's not very long before you're just not putting stuff down if you're using 38s, you just, it, it, they, they just don't have the punch. Just gonna have a quick look. What we're looking for is one of Winter's uh, tapes. There should be a voice recording here. Okay, this is valuable. Sounds like the Brotherhood are doing something around here. Sounds like a vertebrate, right? We've taken on them super mutants that we saw. I do. do. Oh, looks very dramatic out there. Again, I'm looking for a hollow tape. <clears throat> Pressed jump, I swear I did. Well, we can unlock it, so why don't we? It's too bad, actually, that we don't have um, somebody like Piper, or I think Kate. They they kind of like it if you pick lots. Got it. Doesn't look like McCready is in any way massively impressed. It'll, it'll always sort of say like, oh, your companion like that, if you do something that, you know, they'd like. What you doing, McCready? Okay, do we care enough about that hollow tape to really keep on trying? I don't think we do. We're streaming here. We want some action. We're running a little low, I guess, on, on ammo. The righteous authority here, that's not a problem, it's very easy to come by. Death claws. Not really a thing in Fallout 4. Fallout New Vegas, you see a death claw, you pretty much run. They are immensely powerful, immensely dangerous. 
Fallout 4 pretty much sneeze in their direction and they just drop dead. It's not a criticism per se, it's just an observation. The most deadly of, of creatures in the wasteland are just pretty easy to deal with. Uh, I want to keep those hands because there's leather, that's great for crafting uh, armor. Have we got anything that we don't need to be carrying? Very heavy. This is this is one of the things, and and I don't know if I'm just. Uh, see, I've got any grilled rad roach that boosts our carry skill. Um, McCready doesn't seem to hang around with you very much. He's not very good at doing that. He just seems to bugger off and do whatever he thinks is best. When really you could do with him helping you by carrying some stuff. One of the best uses for your companions, of course, is as a caddy. Okay, anything scary up here? Anything useful up here? You know, if it's behind lock and key, it's probably something useful. Bobby pins, yeah, sure. You always get a smidgen of XP anyway for unlocking stuff, so it's usually worth doing. <sighs> Who's this poor chap? Seriously, where is McCready? Last time we saw him was in the police station, right? So that's this way. Whereabouts are you, buddy? I'm not paying you to stand around. He doesn't seem to be in there. Yeah, I swear. I would have thought it would just be my imagination, but I, I, I swear that he just sometimes vanishes. Making him a not massively reliable companion. Gave him a very good weapon as well, a lucky hunting rifle, which I am going to want to um, re engineer and use. Right, anything else here? I think if we continue very far south, we've got a settlement that we haven't yet cleared, so maybe we do that. I don't know if there's, there's some kind of issue with McCready's pathfinding or something, I don't know. He just he just genuinely seems to be a bad companion. He just seems to just vanish and, and disappear. You can usually make your companions reappear. Looks like a chameleon death. Interesting. The closer we get, the better more effective we will be. Let's crack out some rad X. Man, these are some scary ass sounding creatures, I must admit. Death's head, uh, uh, rad scorpion, yeah, out of those. Oh my god. We got synths, we got death claws, we got rad scorpions. This is this is pretty exciting stuff, right? There's McCready. Thanks for turning up, buddy. Yeah. Where there's one synth, there might be more. If one of them seems fit to teleport into an area, others probably will too. Gotcha. What are you shooting at there, buddy? Rad scorpions, of course, can hide underground. They can bury themselves. Okay, we're good. Hey, what? We 
done playing big game hunter now i th i think we're i think we're okay uh before you just disappear off again mate take my junk done. There's that wreck of a synth. Are we in the glowing sea? Is that why? Yes, 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 we are. We need to go this way. That, that is why we're encountering rads. That's why we're encountering terrifying uh, monsters. Oh, you'd love to know my streaming schedule. I should really come up with a streaming schedule. At the moment, I pretty much stream as and when. Obviously, you can always catch the videos. Last video, unfortunately, I did, didn't publish properly, but I'll always put the videos on YouTube and on uh, uh, and on Twitch. And what I will do November, not really going to be able to come up with a schedule. New Year in December, maybe. People have asked to have a regular streaming schedule. I've made a point of regularly uploading uh, the videos to YouTube at a specific time, but I will try and come up with a streaming schedule. Um, thank you very much for saying that you're enjoying the stream and that you want to catch more of it. You're not the first person, and, and, and I will. I'll make sure that, uh, that I'm doing that. Okay, so what do we got? Looks like we're a little bit sick. Infection. I'm not in the slightest bit bothered about that. That might sound blasé, but um, it's, it's just not something that's going to cause us a lot of damage. It just it just won't. Somerville Place. Let's let's get that sorted out, and then what I'm keen to do. Enclave Homing Beacon. Oh yeah, there's a bundle of stuff down here that we could do. Um, Bunch of missions created by the Creation Club. Sure, that would get us some XP. It takes us back into the Glowing Sea, which I kind of like. I think that's a very interesting location. Um, but the missions themselves, they're okay. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing them. I think what we're keen to do is get straight to the Institute and start killing them. So we're going to do this thing. Check out Robotics Park. Let's just check out these locations first. And then we will have cleared the west of the map. There's not much else to do here. And we'll take out the big bads. Let's get rid of the explosive weapon because we're up close and personal. Um, something that I have done is I've got my gear all sorted out ready for when we attack. Oh, grab storm. For when we attack the Institute. So not an awful lot of explosive weaponry. I've just got the 10mm pistol. Everything else, it's not explosive. We're going to be fighting in very close quarters with teammates you absolutely do not want like for example if this was the explosive pistol i'd probably be crippling my arms right now and there's people just queuing up to do that already so oh shoot well that's as close as it possibly could be um, how about we let them get distracted by the Brotherhood for a moment before we start? Not too stuck in. McCready, sir. Again, this whole thing of McCready just not really being there when you need him. Where is he? Yeah, I know. And I'm actually kind of concerned. Uh, looks like they're coming for us. A little bit more distance between us and them. I want to kill them. I want the XP that comes with killing them. But... These are some tough cookies.
One thing I don't have is an absolutely fantastic long-range rifle. The, you know, Righteous Authority here is probably the closest thing. Got a recon scope on it, so... But like I said, I'm equipped for taking down the Institute. Uh, that's going to be a lot of up-close and personal stuff, so I didn't prioritize having a very long-range weapon. Maybe I'm regretting that now. All right, I just, I can't. I can't have that much of my health being taken up by radiation damage. Yeah, I really can't. I might want that uh, that skill that makes it so that any chems that you take last for longer. Stimpaks count as chems, so the medic trait improves the performance of your stimpaks, but so does the, I can't remember what it's called, the one that just increases the duration of them, it means that it heals for longer. Okay, sounds like we've got some Institute guys, and I'm pretty glad to hear that they're here. That should distract our super mutants. We'll let them fight it out a little bit. Who do I think are the heftiest targets? Probably the super mutants. So let's help the Institute. Don't worry guys, we're going to be wiping you out soon enough. Yeah, so that's them teleporting in. Yeah, those synths... The synths really don't have the durability, really, to be standing against these super mutants. They're going to get creamed, but they are a distraction. I think we're using enough 44 ammo already. Sure, we're burning through the ammo for the Righteous Authority, but those are... Fusion cells, they're so common, they're so easy to come and buy. Easy to replenish when you're not using them up. <coughs> yeah, you see lots and lots of fusion cells here. I figured that when we take on the Institute, we're going to have fusion cells aplenty. That's the ammo of choice. The synths. That's why I've done up this here, Righteous Authority. I think it's a good weapon. I think it's now been modified to the point where it's actually going to be pretty effective. Okay, the wounding effect is going to keep chipping away his health, even when we aren't directly attacking him. Now, who's, who's shooting here? Is this some more synths have just jumped in? Probably have. Or is that you, McCready? I think that might be our companion actually chipping in. How far back have we been sent? Oh gosh. Okay, let's... We'll get back to where we were very quickly. And I think that we can get our revenge on those super mutants. Always feels like a big setback, but when you know what to expect, it's it's fine. You will not. Your buddies at that other location are a lot tougher than you, and we will take them down.
right there's probably a uh, hollow tape in there but we're not going to worry about that we're going to what i want to do is i want to get back to where we were and this time have a better result of it As I mentioned, McCready can be a somewhat unreliable companion. Is he going to do us the honor of, of turning up? He, uh, he might be engaged with some super mutants back there, I guess. Nope. That. Yeah, the super mutants that we're facing, most most of the enemies that we've been facing recently have been a breeze. Kind of reached the tipping point where the combat is much easier than it was initially. However, every now and again you come across some tough cookies. Like these super mutants that we're going to tangle with again. If we head for Somerville Place, we should just... Was it the Scrap Palace? Was that where they were? I think it might have been. Let's avoid the... Uh, let's avoid the glowing sea this time, shall we? Well, try. Radiation, obviously, extremely frustrating to deal with on uh, survival taking rad away actually massively harms your immunity making it much more likely that you're going to suffer some kind of a sickness that's the cost of getting rid of the rads I'm just going to sprint through here enclave homer beacon yeah because there's some enclave based missions they're interesting enough but um I don't think we're going to be doing them. What I'm keen to do is just continue. Let, let's just wipe these guys out. Do what we've got to do down at that settlement that's to the south of us. And then we're going to go take on the Institute. Going to have to be able to kill these flipping super mutants if we're to prove to ourselves that we can take on the Institute. Again missing having some really effective long range you know what Psycho improves the durability, it also um, increases the damage that you're actually going to dole out. So, these are tough cookies, man. Uh, boy, oh boy, am I glad that the Brotherhood getting stuck in. Good to see him. We disarmed this chap as well. I'm not showing any mercy though. I'll use the stim pack now. We still had a good deal of health left but these super mutants man they hit hard. Brotherhood should serve as a perfect distraction but that doesn't mean that they will completely ignore us. In fact I think the AI, AI prefers to go for the human player over anyone else. The distraction is still very welcome though. Something just blew the hell up. Whoa, hello buddy. You're a warlord, huh?
I just hear somebody say the area is secure. Somebody can see us, but they're not a threat. Okay, did we get him? When I say we, I am, of course, acknowledging the uh, contribution of the Brotherhood of Steel. My companion doesn't seem to be anywhere to be seen. We'll have a quick scout around. Okay. So all I wanted to do was uh, was get some revenge after we got taken out by those guys last time. Let's go to this settlement. Let's just see if we can do anything with that. And then we're pretty much on the opposite side of the map of where we need to be. That being... Uh, Sanctuary Hills, so we will grab a vertebird, fly across the entirety of the Commonwealth, that'll be fun, and uh, we'll talk to Sturges, see about infiltrating and destroying the Institute. Now what do we have here? Settlers, okay. They might say, hey, look, we need you to take out Excuse me. You don't look like you're here to trade. Oh, yeah, that. The Brotherhood needs your help. Donate. Don't think I don't see what... Yeah, well. <clears throat> don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Another day of hard work. It never changes. Well... I mean, I'm not aligned to this yet, so... You aren't allied to the settlement. No, I know. How do I get allied? There should be another person here to whom I can huh? perhaps speak. Well, hello. Probably not you. I don't think you're in charge. I, I can sleep in their beds. Hey, sweetie. That's interesting. Working on a farm is really boring. Sweetie? Yes. All right. I thought, yeah, I thought we'd be able to turn this into one of our uh, settlements. Obviously, we cannot. Um, really interested in doing any of this. Can't do that because we broke, we burned our bridges. Yeah, let's get flying, shall we? Hey, Lishu. And you know what I might do? We've got another companion up at Sanctuary Hills. That's Codsworth. Our ever loyal former butler bot. Uh, it might be fun. We started this whole adventure with Codsworth. Maybe we finish it with him too. I might take him to be my companion as we assault the Institute. Partly because I'm a creepy man, I just I don't know where he disappears off to. I need to put a little bell on him or something. Okay, here we go. Instrument 
damn sight quicker than walking, right? Get to see some of the sights in Boston. Uh, is McCready... Yeah, McCready's just magically appeared, as he sometimes does. Whoa. Beautiful vertebrates. They look like um, U.S. Navy Ospreys. I think, it's the, I think it's the U.S. Navy that uses them. There's the glowing sea over there. And of course, we're using the vertebrate because fast travel, we're playing on survival mode. So, you don't have any fast travel. What you can do is you can teleport to the Institute if you have made friends with them, essentially. I burned my bridges, so we can't do that. Uh, the other alternative is to make friends with Brotherhood of Steel and they can chuck a vertebrate your way. Um, I don't see that there's any value to really doing that on the normal modes where you have fast travel available. On survival mode where you do not, it is a much more convenient and quicker way of traversing the uh, the wasteland. And you can make nuisance of yourself by blowing up cars. Pretty great. There's only one mission I'm aware of where you have to get to sort of use a vertebrate. You get to do this door gunner type stuff as part of the mission. It's a fun one. It's that one that took us about eight times to get it right. I mean, if you remember that, it was, it was salting an island. Had to do it, kept getting killed. Went back, did it again. But I still maintain that this extra challenge, the extra difficulty that comes with survival mode, it's the only way to play Fallout 4. If you haven't played any before, sure, load it up on an easier setting, get to know the world, get to know how the game works, but if you know what you're doing, yeah, survival mode, which you will. Every time that you log in, you know that you're going to get a challenge. You don't have a lot of the stuff that helps you. you really got to survive with just what you can, with what you've got. Love the way that the barrel glows brighter as it gets hotter. Now, I don't think we've got too far to go now. Yeah, we're getting there. It, it, it's, it's a, this is a, it's a big map. It's a long distance. Again, we're, we're pretty much traversing it at warp speed. Yeah, okay, so this is that farm which is just to the south of Sanctuary. So we are almost there. It's all looking very grey and dusky. Alright, Sanctuary. Thank you, five stars. Very convenient place to drop us. Ah, uh, don't hey. worry about any radius. Only, only a little bit of radiation. You're going to be fine. Uh, I don't really need that. I don't know why you've got that. Ah, oh, rats. When we died, I got a lucky hunting rifle, which would have been absolutely perfect as a long range choice. Uh, clearly didn't pick it up this time, died, didn't, it didn't respawn. Would have been a great weapon to have. Thanks, Mama. Why can I not access? Why 
can I not interact with stuff? Preston tells me you found a way into the Institute. That's right. I was hoping I'd find something. One of the things in the data you stole was a plan of the whole Institute. It turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security. Ugh. But there isn't any other way in that I can find. Enough. Good work, Sturgis. Thanks, boss. I wish there was a better way. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control. All right, you know what? Looks like we're really ready to get this show on the road. I don't know why I can't interact with anything. Is it because we're taking radiation damage? Cotress, where are you? We're gonna find Codsworth, we're gonna team up with him instead of McCready, who keeps on more letting us down. That's if we can find old Codsworth. Should be around here somewhere. If he's not, then no problem. Hope you ain't one of them synths. You're the spy. Oh no, don't worry, we're gonna be killing the synths. I haven't got an awful lot of stuff here that would be useful. Freezing minigun. Oh, yes. All right, nothing that we really need here. So. Thank you. There you are, Mac. Can I use this teleporter to do it? Not damaged or anything, but no, I can't. I, it looks like I can't use the teleporter. I've been completely blocked from using it. That's understandable. Let's use Brotherhood of Steel Uber again. Go to Hangman's Alley, we'll rest up. That's right next to the Institute. We'll um, get in there and start killing stuff, I guess. Yeah, gain access to the Institute right there. Tell you what I might do, actually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna travel to Boston Airport. We'll get some more of these vertebrate signals because I don't know. After we take down the Institute um, on behalf of the Minutemen, it might be that we no longer have access to anything from the Brotherhood. That's a distinct possibility. So we're just going to take a very quick diversion. Doesn't take long to get from uh, the airport to Hangman's Alley. Definitely a bit quicker to get from there than it is here. So yeah, let's. Ooh, I love that eerie glow that uh, my Pip Boy is providing. Kind of looks like it really makes us a target. But okay. I just find a really cool shot.
Cool. About halfway there. Mm -hmm. Where's the where's the moon? Lovely bright moon tonight. Just nice, chilled, enjoy the ambient light, enjoy the relaxing music. Pilot's doing all the work. What we'll do is, I think we'll get uh, we'll get some more of these uh, Uber tokens, <laughs> basically. Um, we'll check all of our gear, check that we're ready to take on the Institute, and then the next session, that's going to be it. It's going to be the downfall of the Institute. It's probably going to take a while. It's going to be a brutal fight. Going to have to think about who I want as my companion. Strong seems like a good idea. He's a very powerful combatant. I like the idea of a super mutant getting in there and just wrecking the uh, the institute as well. That's kind of fun. Kate can pick locks, so she might actually be pretty useful. Hmm. Kate. She is a strong combatant. Her Irish accent, which is is really really bad. Uh, it is a little bit frustrating, but she might well be, she got that utility of being able to pick locks. She is a strong combatant. And I, I, I like the idea of a red-headed Irish lass just wrecking the Institute as well. Would have bought Codsworth, couldn't find him. Dance would be a great choice as well, obviously. He's got the power armor, he's got the weapon, but he's a boring chap. And he can't carry anything because I've loaded him up with power armor. And for just that, that seems to have just taken up all of his carrying capacity or something. So, I don't know. If anybody has a preference for who they would love to see storm the Institute with me, please do let me know. This was the scene of a very interesting mission. Somebody was stealing supplies to feed ghouls. The rationale being that if the ghouls aren't hungry, they're not really going to attack. Uh, also, he had some personal reasons for doing it as well. It was just interesting stuff. It really was. It was a, it was a fun, fun mission to do. Uh, where is the vertebird upon which we can gain access to uh, Pridwin? It's around here. Should be a landing pad. We have to tell... I mean, I'm so tempted to take power armor, but I've never really got... Not really a power armor kind of guy. Not in Fallout 4 anyway. McCready, where are you? I need to tell you to just stay here because otherwise... I don't know what it is with companions. Try hey. and take them up to the Pridwin. Wait there. And they just fall out of the vertebrae. So... Let's see if the Brotherhood's got anything for us. Again, we're just getting all of our ducks in a row, getting all of our equipment sorted out, ready to assault the Institute at the start of the next mission. Got anything for us? Sure, fine, whatever. Um, start of the next mission, I'll go through what I have equipped myself with. Most notably... Attention, tomorrow's tactical briefing has been postponed. A new time and date will be forthcoming. Dr. Quinlan. Thanks for the update. That is Tim Russ, the guy who played Tuvok in Star Trek Voyager. I checked. I thought it sounded familiar. Okay. Watch None the of the Brotherhood. Levels out there. It catches up with you quickly. Yes, yes okay. that's. Stock up on those stim packs. You can never carry too many of them. Try and take it easy on the stimulant cam. Okay, so I can, I can sort of talk to uh, uh, everybody here, but they are not actually interacting with me in any kind of meaningful way. Too young, too green. Not like the initiates this is an old guy who I rescued, essentially. Okay, 
You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. Maybe you could tell your companions to actually speak to us. Yes, sir. Oh yes, of course. We collected some crops. That was for this chap. Let me know when you feel it. I realize it's not. Yeah, essentially we're going around threatening farms, telling them that they've Reporting got to extra work. give a Good tithe idea. to the Another Brotherhood. I'm in. Good. Here's the farm. Apparently I'm fine with that. Proctor this guy. Can't trade with him, therefore I cannot get any more Brotherhood. Uh... Flares. Good to know, huh? He can task me with jobs to do. But I can't trade or get anything from them. Okay, alright, fine. Let's make our way to Hangman's Alley. Make sure that we've got all of our ducks in a row. Make sure that we've got the right gear, the right skills, the right companion. And then the next session will be an assault on the Institute. We will put down that scourge of the Commonwealth. Hey. Come on, Chuckles. Come on. Yep, you got it. I know I've got it. We don't need to rest. Let's just get where we're going. Just fixed a few so that's the Overseer's Guardian, a combat rifle that fires an additional round. I had um Essentially sort of set it up as a sniper weapon. It's not it's not really suited for that. Uh, mm, not that useful. Not that useful. Yeah, so the Overseer's Guardian, it shoots an additional projectile. What that means is that if you are trying to take aim in VATS, there's actually a unaccounted for spread value. Spread like with a shotgun, where it shot, fires multiple shots, actually makes the shooting far less accurate than it otherwise would be if you were just shooting one projectile. So um, the way that it interacts with the Overseer's Guardian just makes it, your, makes it so that your VATS shots aren't at all accurate. means that the Overseer's Guardian should be a perfect Something's that's weapon, but it, it just is not. I'm getting the feeling that there's some bad guys around here. I'm eyes yeah, the shooting kind of suggests that, yeah, there are bad guys. The fact that there are bad guys here as well, that kind of gives it away to you. See that uh, critical meter just ramping up. That's the advantage of the Righteous Authority. Righteous Authority has become my go-to because the ammo is very plentiful. That might seem like a strange thing to say since we've just run that weapon completely dry. May as well be very, very liberal with our use of charge points. We're going to get those back very easily. Again, the 10mm, the only explosive weapon that I'm going to have in my inventory as we take on the Institute. As I explained, the chances of getting blue on blue damage is extremely high. Of course, all we're doing here is going for a stroll through downtown Boston. But it's nighttime, and there's bad guys around every corner, so. It's all familiar. All places we've explored, there's nothing else really to do. He says. Take a quick diversion. What? What? I found him. I don't know, I feel like I found you. 
That's how you do things. You shout at people and then you get killed instantly. Badass. Who knows what we're going to find here. We might get some decent junk. Uh, bottles. Yeah, I imagine that we are going to be using an absolute ton of drugs to enhance our combat performance. Nothing wrong with that. Any more for any more? What I'm concerned about is mines or anything. I'm just tapping vats just in case. I think actually, I think we should take advantage of that. It's been a while since we've saved, so. Just saved. Okay, what have we got? Medex, yeah, it's pretty useful. Psycho, that's what we're going to be using a lot of. Best combat enhancing drug in the game. Yeah, busting through that. Hmm. Hey. What's up? No, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to press the button behind you. man. He's really just annoying me more than anything else. Okay, we got anything, uh, anything of value here? Yeah. Okay, let's continue with our mission. I mean, really, Kate is, is a far more interesting character. Uh, it, it really is just an... I, I feel like I'm slamming the voice actor here. It's just that accent. It's fine. That's how she was directed. It's just, you know. got bloody mess activated that's why people are exploding in a cloud of viscera and blood uh, it actually makes it so that every single attack is causing more damage than it otherwise would so great um, great all-round trait to have you're McCready where are you buddy Wow. Okay, well, that little gang sure talked a good game, but uh, consider me unimpressed. Okay, we're almost there. Hangman's Alley, absolutely key settlement. If, if they said, like, you can have one settlement in this game, that's it. Hangman's Alley, right in the center of the map, right in the center of Boston. Um, it's where I send all of the companions. It's where all my best gear is. I couldn't find... The actual location in, in when we were actually in Boston, I couldn't really figure out 
sort of where this is. Right. And prepping for the fight starts now. Let's get our supplies of purified water boosted. That's what we're doing. Just filling empty bottles with clean water. Uh, McCready, I need you because I'm going to be stripping your armor off and giving it to Kate. Right, here's Kate, by the way. Heads up. Oh, you shouldn't have. Hey, Nikki. It's past time for the Institute to pay for what they've done to the Commonwealth. Oh, he's dead keen to get stuck in, isn't he? We've already got our maximum relationship with Preston, though. Uh, I don't with Kate. So that's another reason to pick her. Just trying to find her. What we can do... Let's just double check. We've got all the weapons and everything that we want. So, you ready to get this show on the road? No. Alright, for the moment, let's just dump that armor and everything. We'll check that we've got everything that we want, and then it will be the next session where we get ready to take it on. Is there anything that we don't need to be taking with us? stuff any weight that we can save we will save i think we need 28 mentats not really gonna need this much food yeah we'll take that just in case we need to caffeinate psycho of course purified water we probably are gonna bust through all of that Let's get rid of some of this. Stealth boys, maybe. Maybe we'll be using them. I tend not to, but we'll take, take a decent selection of them. Is there any weapon that we want that we're missing out on? 10 mil pistols, we've got those covered. We've got the deliverer and we've got that explosive one. Um, no. Don't need the sawn off because we've got the wounding shotgun. Yeah, that's great, but the wounding shotgun, even better. Can't have these explosive weapons, just not when we're all up close and personal. Laser musket, granted, that's a pretty good sniping weapon. Heavy, though. Fairly good sniper rifle, just doesn't have the punch. I think... I, I, I think we're ready. I think we've got what we need. Um, all that it takes. We'll, we'll... Where, where is she? I can hear her. I can hear her terrible Irish accent. Where is she hiding? Oh, there you are. I take it that she can wear... All of this, we're going to get her geared up, ready to go. She's in a horse's outfit at the moment. This would be much, much better. It's deep pocketed stuff. It's much more resilient. She looks like a badass. I'll give her that. Hey. Ready to head back out? Oh, I just sure. Want to trade I am. A few things. What am I? A bank. Don't worry, we'll give her an underlayer. Um, yeah, you don't need that. Don't need that. She's got the old shish kebab. That's a very good close range weapon. Maybe what we could do. I 
don't want to give her anything expl I don't want to be getting don't want to be getting hurt. What we could do is is maybe actually give her Let's gear up this Institute pistol. She should have a chance to get lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of fusion cells, just as we will. Let's gussy this up for her. Bash, I get the feeling that she's probably going to use that. Reflex sight is great. Uh, fine tuned, superior range and accuracy, better recoil. Yeah, there you go. She's got a she's got a pretty pretty powerful institute pistol. That's going to be her ranged weapon of choice, I think. You hear about that farm run by Where's she gone again? There's Kate, our darling romantic interest. Sorry, not Kate, Kiri. Getting mixed up. Guess the bombs didn't hit the city for some reason. You know what I call a good day? One of them is about an empty stomach. So, you ready to get the. Alright, well, let's end the stream there. What we're going to do. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. Good. Then let's get moving. Okay, McCready. Heads up. You here? What's yours is mine. Right, darling. <laughs> totally. Okay, okay, okay. So. I think Kate and I, we're ready to get stuck in. Let's get some kip. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Hey, Curie. Let's get that lover's embrace going. And the benefits that it brings. And then we're ready to take on the Institute. So next session, it's going to be us assaulting the Institute. Very exciting stuff. End game stuff. Yeah, I know, yeah, whatever. We've got bigger fish to fry. Hopefully see you then. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.